Beverly Hills 90210 was an iconic show that left an indelible mark on television history. In this video, we'll revisit the cast of this legendary 90s hit and explore their transformations, careers, and personal lives over three decades. From Beverly Hills to Hollywood, we'll uncover their stories and the show's enduring impact. Join Flixtalgia as we take a trip down memory lane as we delve into the lives of your favorite characters and their journey through time. Jason Priestley played Brandon Walsh. Jason Priestley was born on August 28, 1969. In 1990, he was 21 years old, and at present he is 54 years old. Priestley, best known for his role as Brandon Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210, has continued to make waves in the entertainment industry. He has also showcased his talent in various other television shows, including Call Me Fitz, where he portrayed Richard Fitzpatrick. Currently, he portrays the character of Matt Shade on the global TV series Private Eyes, a role he has held since 2016. Additionally, Priestley made a nostalgic return to the iconic zip code in 2019 when the six-episode quasi-reboot of 90210 aired on Fox. Off-screen, he is happily married to Naomi Loud Priestley, with whom he tied the knot in 2005. The couple has two children together, a daughter named Ava and a son named Dashiell. Through his ongoing work and personal milestones, Priestley continues to captivate audiences worldwide. Shannon Doherty played Brenda Walsh. Shannon Doherty was born on April 12, 1971. In 1990, she was 19 years old, and at present she is 52 years old. Doherty gained fame for her role as the headstrong Brenda Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210 from 1990 to 1994. Despite occasional controversies on set, Doherty's portrayal of the character left a lasting impact. She went on to star in the hit series Charmed for Three Years and made appearances in the BH90210 revival. Doherty also showcased her talent in the short-lived 2018 Heathers reboot and paid tribute to her late co-star Luke Perry on Riverdale. Alongside her acting career, Doherty has been open about her battle with breast cancer, raising awareness, and advocating for more research towards finding a cure. Her resilience and dedication continue to inspire both on and off the screen. Luke Perry played Dylan McKay. Luke Perry was born on October 11, 1966. In 1990, he was 24 years old. Unfortunately, at the age of 52, Perry passed away on March 4, 2019 due to a stroke. Perry is best known for his portrayal of brooding teen rebel Dylan McKay on Beverly Hills 90210 from 1990 to 2000. Throughout the series, his character's romantic entanglements with Brenda Walsh, Kelly Taylor, and Valerie Malone captivated audiences. Following his time on the show, Perry showcased his talent on stage in London's West End production of When Harry Met Sally alongside Alison Hannigan. He also had notable roles as an inmate on HBO's Oz, a gay birdwatcher on Will and & Grace, and as Link Stark in John from Cincinnati. Perry's career reached new heights in 2017 when he joined the main cast of the CW series Riverdale as Fred Andrews until his untimely passing in March 2019. Jenny Garth played Kelly Taylor. Jenny Garth was born on April 3, 1972. In 1990, she was 18 years old, and at present she is 51 years old. Known for her portrayal of Beverly Hills Princess Kelly Taylor, Garth was part of one of TV's greatest love triangles, dating both Brandon and Dylan. After the show concluded, she starred in various projects like What I Like About You, Mystery Girls, and competed on Dancing with the Stars in 2007. Garth also appeared in the 2008 rendition of 90210, playing a grown-up version of her famous role. Currently, she co-hosts the 9021 OMG podcast with Tori Spelling and has starred in two TV movies since 2020. After divorcing Peter Fascinelli in 2013, Garth married actor Dave Abrams in 2015. Ian Ziering played Steve Sanders. Ian Ziering was born on March 30, 1964. In 1990, he was 26 years old, and at present, he is 59 years old. Ziering, best known for his role as Steve Sanders on Beverly Hills 90210, has made a significant mark in the entertainment industry. Throughout the show's run from 1990 to 2000, Ziering portrayed the character of an immature ladies' man grappling with personal issues. Beyond 90210, Ziering has showcased his talent on various reality shows such as Dancing with the Stars in 2007, The Apprentice in 2015, 
and Worst Cooks in America in 2018. Additionally, he has starred in the popular Sharknado movie franchise. Amidst personal changes, Zyring is a devoted father to his daughters and has navigated the challenges of divorce with grace. Brian Austin Green played David Silver. Brian Austin Green was born on July 15, 1973. In 1990, he was 17 years old, and at present, he is 50 years old. Green gained recognition for his portrayal of David Silver in Beverly Hills 90210. Since then, he has showcased his talent in several successful shows such as Freddy in 2005, Desperate Housewives from 2010 to 2011, and Anger Management in 2012, where he played the character Sean Healy. Green also made a cameo appearance as himself in the 2019 reboot of 90210. He shares four older children, Cassius with ex-partner Vanessa Marsil, and Noah Bodie and Journey with his former wife, Megan Fox. In June 2022, Green welcomed his fifth son, Zane Walker, with his current partner, Sharna Burgess, a professional dancer from Dancing with the Stars. Their relationship began in December 2020, shortly after Green's separation from Fox. Notably, Green joined The Masked Singer as Burgess's partner for season 30 in 2021. In February 2022, they announced Burgess's pregnancy, coinciding with the settlement of Green and Fox's divorce. Tori Spelling played Donna Martin. Tori Spelling was born on May 16, 1973. In 1990, she was 17 years old, and at present, she is 50 years old. Spelling, known for her role as Donna Martin on Beverly Hills 90210, has established herself as a versatile performer. From the start of the series, Spelling showcased her talent and went on to become a beloved character throughout the show's duration. Her credentials include numerous projects beyond 90210, such as starring in the reality series Tori and Dean, Sweet Home Hollywood, and taking on roles in films like the cult favorite mother, May I Sleep with Danger. In addition, she co-hosts the 9021 OMG podcast with Jenny Garth. While facing personal challenges, Spelling remains dedicated to her craft and continues to engage with her fans through various platforms. Joe E. Tata played Nat Busicchio. Joe E. Tata was born on September 13, 1936. In 1990, he was 54 years old. Sadly, Tata was diagnosed with Alzheimer's disease in 2018 and passed away on August 24, 2022, at the age of 85. Tata, a talented character actor, made a notable impact in the entertainment industry. Starting his on-screen acting journey in 1960, Tata appeared in various popular series like The Outer Limits and General Hospital. However, he's best known for his role as Nat Busicchio, the friendly owner of the Peach Pit Diner in Beverly Hills 90210. Tata's portrayal of Nat spanned from 1990 to 2000, earning him recognition and a special place in fans' hearts. His contribution to the show and his memorable character left a lasting impression on audiences. Gabrielle Carteris played Andrea Zuckerman. Gabrielle Carteris was born on January 2, 1961. In 1990, she was 29 years old, and at present, she is 62 years old. Carteris is best known for her role as neurotic and overachieving school newspaper editor Andrea Zuckerman on Beverly Hills 90210 from 1990 to 1995. Beyond her time on the series, Carteris has showcased her talent in various projects. She hosted a short-lived talk show after leaving 90210 and later appeared on VH1's Surreal Life. Carteris overcame a debilitating injury in 2006 and went on to secure recurring roles in shows like My Alibi and Code Black. As the former president of SAG-AFTRA trade union, she has made significant contributions to the industry. Recently, Carteris appeared on the Fox reboot of 90210 in 2019, and she has also been part of the miniseries We Own This City. Alongside her successful career, she has been married to Charles Isaacs since 1992 and has two daughters, Kelsey and Molly. Carol Potter played Cindy Walsh. Carol Potter was born on May 21, 1948. In 1990, she was 42 years old, and at present, she is 75 years old. Potter, renowned for her portrayal of Cindy Walsh on Beverly Hills 90210, is an accomplished actor with a diverse range of experiences. After moving to Los Angeles from New York City in 1981, she faced challenges and setbacks, but found solace in reconnecting with her Christian faith. 
Despite enduring the tragic loss of her husband Spencer to lung cancer, Potter became motivated to pursue a career as a therapist. Today, she combines her compelling personal narrative, expertise in psychological growth, and practice of contemplative prayer to help others navigate life's challenges. Alongside her acting career, Potter has earned a master's degree in marriage and family therapy and is an accomplished writer, parent, teacher, and group facilitator. James Eckhouse played Jim Walsh. James Eckhouse was born on February 14, 1955. In 1990, he was 35 years old, and at present, he is 68 years old. Eckhouse, widely recognized for his portrayal of Jim Walsh on 90210, starred alongside Carol Potter as the parents of Brenda and Brandon. After their characters relocated to Hong Kong, their on-screen house was taken over by Steve Sanders. Since his time on 90210, Eckhouse has maintained a consistent presence in the industry, often securing small or guest-starring roles in acclaimed TV shows like Chicago Hope, Once and Again, Without a Trace, and many more. In 1982, he married Sheila Killeher Walsh, and they have two sons, including actor Xander. James and Carol have remained connected, as evident from their reunion at a fan convention in February 2019. Tiffany Thiessen played Valerie Malone. Tiffany Thiessen was born on January 23, 1974. In 1994, she was 20 years old, and at present, she is 49 years old. Thiessen has showcased her versatility and talent across various film and television roles. Known for her portrayal of Kelly Kapowski on Save by the Bell and Valerie Malone on 90210, Thiessen has proven her acting skills in both comedy and drama. Her impressive list of credits includes appearances in TV series like White Collar and films such as Woody Allen's Hollywood Ending. Beyond acting, Thiessen is also a producer and celebrity cook. She continues to engage with her fans through her various endeavors and remains an incredibly talented actress in the industry. Now it's time to hear from you. Which one of the 10 seasons of 90210 is your favorite? Comment down below and let us know. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more exciting nostalgic content.